obviously we're less than a week away from heading to Mexico. Um, it's, 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 it's an exciting trip, really good, good teams. Uh, first time that we've taken our team on a trip like this. So i um, thrilled about that. And then we're gonna, um, we're going to um, go directly to Clearwater for I think what many think is probably the best tournament um, of the year until we get to postseason play. So um, really um, grateful for our administration to allow us to do this. Um, our girls are, you know, there, there's a lot of planning that goes on in these things to make sure we're taken care of in school and make sure that uh, we're being fed well and taken care of and we're healthy and, and all that. So um, besides the softball, the softball is, the, is always the easiest part. It's all the other stuff. So there's been a lot of planning for, for well over a year to get to this point. So um, we've had, um, we've been back now. Um, I believe we reported back January 12th, the 11th or 12th, um, reported back very, very well. Probably the best return to practice of any of my time here. So and we, we, we made that important. We talked to them about what the expectations were. Um, I think you can um, probably put a little bit of stuff on the fact that um, uh, we probably have the deepest team that we've ever had, and um, people want to play. I mean, they came here to play. So um, we came back well, very happy, healthy at this point. A uh, few little nicks, that's going to happen. We've got some tough kids, so they'll play th through that stuff. Um, but I think we, um, we're bringing a really good team to the table. Um, uh, a lot of experience, um, a lot of new faces, which we've kind of talked through in the uh, fall, um, but um, a, a lot of high quality kids, um, elite softball players. Um, they've, they've put themselves in a position that I could say to you that this is probably the closest team that we've, that we've ever had at this point in a year. Um, obviously teams get closer and closer as the season goes and you start taking bus trips and plane flights and hotel rooms and lots of meals together. Um, so, um, so we've got that, but we've worked really hard this off season, um, knowing that there was going to be a lot of change this past year, had a lot of new implementations and, um, uh, one of the most important one, um, was, after after seven years, um, about um, I think in my second year, I I wrote I put a post-it note on my credenza and it said the cowgirl way. And I just wanted to like describe to somebody that knew nothing about Oklahoma State softball what the cowgirl way was. Well, after seven years, um, we've identified that. Um, we've logoed that, um, you know, there's three words that come to, that came, you know, to mind after seven years was relentless excellence and passion. And I think that describes the people before us and I'm hopeful that it will describe the people after us. And so we've identified that we're going to start really branding that. I think our girls have really bought in to that and and you know we haven't they haven't known about it long they've known that we've been working on it but it feels really good to have that done so that so that I have a foundational piece that I can always go back to when people aren't meeting or exceeding the standard I can just say hey this is this is all it is and it's complicated and it's and it's a lot but it's it's to the point it's clear um, and it makes sense in all of our minds. So, um, so with all the little things that we've had, that was been, that's been a big thing, along with the new coach that we've added, um, 14 new players. Um, it's been wild. So, um, and, uh, and just continuing to grow. The, the one um, thing that I'm not gonna make a mistake on this year is um, I, I've, I've been clear in reminding our team that we still don't have anything that anybody wants. Um, we really don't. We, we don't have anything. And, and so we're still fighting and, cr and clawing and kicking at the shins of everyone we're, we're, we're chasing. And that list has shrunk. Um, but it's our job to stay up there in that top group and then to do everything that we can to overtake. So um, excited for this journey. 
Um, you know, that's part of the best thing about coaching is starting a new journey each year. Um, not having, um, you know, it doesn't matter what's happened in the previous three years or the previous seven years, this being our, our, our eighth year. Um, none of that really matters to this team right now. Um, what matters is their team. Their, their motto is all one. Um, that's their motto. Um, and I'm, I love it. I think it encapsulates the clarity that we're trying to have. Um, it encapsulates um, everything that they want to ac accomplish. And um, uh, I'm excited to, to, to see what this team can do. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.